What is up? Hopefully everybody's having a good Tuesday. Uh, a couple days before Turkey Day uh, here in the States. I know I got a lot of friends uh, that do not celebrate Thanksgiving, so I just wanted to, you know, say th happy Thanksgiving to the people in the States. And hopefully everyone else will have a good weekend. Uh, and don't party too much. Uh, bah, yeah, go ahead and party. Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, I am short the market. I uh, sold at 7300 uh, on the break of these moving averages, and uh, some people were asking me why I'm short, and I wanted to go over the chart to show you why. Uh, one of the charts, but uh, the daily on uh, Bitcoin versus the dollar. Uh, it's a Bitfinex chart. Uh, the things that I have on the chart, uh, I got a, a bullish trend line here, got a bearish trend line here. Got a couple Fibonacci lines on here. I got a blue one and a red one, and I'll talk about those in a moment. Uh, the three moving averages that I have on here, I have a 55, a 233, and a 610. Uh, what else I have on here? RSI down here, the orange line. Uh, I got a couple other lines on here, support, resistance, uh, levels that this gives you the bearish zone that we're in. I uh, got the ADX. Uh, the black line is the ADX, the red is the negative directional index, and the green is the positive directional index. So that's everything I have on here. Uh, one of the things that I've been watching for are some key moving averages, and I was waiting to see a support and resistance flip. Now, the 55 exponential moving average on the weekly uh, was a key break. Uh, it broke down and sold or uh, settled far enough underneath it to where it became resistance. Uh, but then also the 610 daily on here, and everybody's like, well, what are you looking at the 610 for? Well, if you look back historically here, you know, going back into 18, uh, you noticed here that you had some support levels. Uh, so buying interest along this line, a little trench warfare going on. Sellers trying to break through. Buyers are saying, nope, not yet, not yet. Uh, and the seller said, well, I think we've got enough here. And then just the, the buyers took a back seat. And this thing capitulated down, all the way down to that 3000 and so low. Uh, and then when it came back up to this point, when we're looking at the blue line here, which is the uh, 610, uh, it hit resistance here. So the sellers were owning this trench or this trend, this line and kind of pushed up through it a little bit, didn't, didn't break yet. And then it broke right at this point. Uh, you know, a couple of things when it broke down here, you were getting a lot of momentum for the bears uh, as the negative directional index was increasing. Uh, the uh, <clears throat> RSI was getting into oversold, got really into oversold here as it really went down into the lows. And it wasn't until we broke back above this, this level in here as the momentum was dropping for the bears that we got a little bit of a switch here. Uh, so, so the 610 had a, had a support and resistance flip right here. Had another one right here, and then as we came back down, we just had one the other day, or just recently, uh, to where it was support at around 7,300. It's currently at 7,316. Uh, the the close uh, yesterday uh, was far enough down to give this to make this now resistance. Uh, so when this thing popped back up, I sold it. Um, right now we're sitting at 72.05 and the moving average at 73.16, so it's relatively tight. Uh, but I would like to see a, uh, you know, a break back above this line to negate this, because right now this whole area right in here is a pretty good resistance for me on the moving average. And a couple of th things to help validate that. Uh, when you look at the Fibonacci level from the low, you know, at 3,000 up to the high of 13.7. Uh, the 61.8% level is at 72.43, uh, which is a you know a, a nice little resistance level now. Uh, this previous low on uh, what is that October 23rd or so was around 7,300. Actually, it's about 73.33 on the on this on the Bifinex. Uh So this so when the market went up to here, came back down. As you can see, this is this is really interesting. Uh, on this fib move from up here all the way to the full retracement when you went up to this point and came back down it found some support at the 23 to at the 38.2 percent 
right here to try and hold and then it broke and then it went and then it went and hovered around the 61.8 percent for a couple of days and then it broke straight down to the full retracement and even further uh, when it breaks into a new low like that i'd really like to see it get down in in between the 127 and 141 uh, extension off of this since it was making new lows here uh, so since it didn't reach down into that level and now that this is resistance uh, I'm, I'm kind of looking at this six 6048 to 6400 level as a as a minimum target if this if this remains uh, resistance here and it doesn't come back and, and bite me in the ass uh, I, I like the 6400 to 6000 range down here but ultimately <clears throat> a couple things to look at is you know the break of this red 61.8 percent level uh, you know if we with with the momentum on the ADX as things are breaking down underneath key support uh, which is now resistance um, that kind of helps validate some of the sellers in here so as this comes up toward here we should find some selling interest uh, and another thing is once you broke the 61.8 percent level um, you know the next level to look at is the 78.6 level which is about 5400 uh, so that's kind of the, kind of an area a little bit of a order block here uh, so you got you got this 54 basically 5500 level that intersects with this trend line if this thing kind of takes this channel and keeps working its way down down here or if this thing just drops out of bed uh, and falls all the way down to the trend line you're looking at about 4700 or so so if this thing gets really nasty and starts selling off really quickly, you know, I think the worst case scenario on this move would be about 4,700. I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, <clears throat> or, we'd have, or we probably would have seen some signs of it already. Uh, but we did, we did have a nice little move down here. It didn't quite reach the 127, so I still like this. I'm going to, as if the price comes down into the 6,000 range to 6,500 range again, uh, I'm going to definitely keep an eye on this and check some of the internal indicators to see if this thing's going to continue or not. And that's where I, I bring this 5,500 into play. So all of this area in here is, I'm, you know, is a definite downside risk area, uh, you know, for people that are trying to be long. Uh, it's definitely a, a risk uh, to, to the downside. Uh, I'm, I'm going to play the short side and, and take on and and uh, take on this downside if it's going to happen. Uh, I do like the way um, it broke here uh, to, to give us a little bit of resistance. Uh, another thing that's happening is the 55 is getting ready to cross the 233. I know if you look at the 50 and the 200, it's already crossed. Uh, but, you know, I, I follow the Fibonacci ones. I, I kind of like those a little better uh, just for, you know, Historically, I found some some good things that help happen in some of the models that I run. Uh, I really like the way the Fibonacci uh, fi um, uh, exponential moving averages work. But th that this is about to about to cross. Uh, but we already had the golden the death cross uh, on on uh, the uh, other moving averages, the uh, 250. Um, so with that and with this being resistance, I can see a lot of selling interest coming into the market now. Another thing to look at is the RSI. When this thing when this thing went all the way back down here to, to 3,000, uh, this is when it got into some really oversold areas, um, and then and then it popped back up, and then actually you know stayed the, stayed into some oversold area down in here as it was making some new lows, uh, as the momentum was uh, relatively strong for the bears, uh, and this was on the break of a of the 610 where it really went nasty. So one thing I'm concerned with, with it, with it breaking the 610, and if this resistance holds, um, and we're getting momentum for the bears here, yes, we, you know, we, we've touched down into some of these oversold areas, but we're not into the area where it really pushed lower uh, and got us into, uh, into some, uh, you know, some nasty, you know, some nasty bearishness or, you know, capitulation kind of, kind of look. Um, not to say that that's going to happen, but I'm just going to, I'm going to play the market looking like that this could turn, stay in some oversold areas and then get really oversold, uh, before a lot of the buying interest comes back into the market. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if, if it went all the way to 5,500, that's kind of the area that I'm, I'm wanting it to go to for this move. And then, uh, you know, I'm going to extend this out. Um, so really I'm going to, I'm going to ride this thing down unless I get some signal that it's going to 
support and resistance flip back above the moving average, or uh, you know if this can if this, this if the market moves you know lower into this range, um, this is going to be a key level to watch, um, you know, for a break to the upside. Uh, so I don't know. I'm, this is what I'm looking at um, on on the daily. I'm, you know, the 55 exponential moving average on the weekly broke down pretty good. Sold well, sold below three percent underneath that line. Uh, the the market closed, you know, well under the 610 here. Uh, this is about to cross. There's just a bunch of stuff that I just don't, I'm just not real thrilled at going long just yet. Um, cause I got stopped out of here at, uh, at the 8,500 up here. This is where, um, I tried a couple little things in here. Um, but I wrote, I, I wrote down the, down into this point and I was thinking about going long here and I didn't, uh, instead I'm going short at 7,300. Uh, and that's where, that's where my fill is. So, uh, other than that, that, that's about, uh, that's about it. So let's see if this, uh, if this resistance holds or not, and, uh, we'll play it from there. Uh, if you guys see anything else, uh, let me know what, what you guys are doing. If you're short the market, uh, give me some reasons why, if you're really wanting to go long the market right now, uh, give me some, give me some, uh, uh Give me some internal indica indicators and some reasons why you would want to do that. And uh, I would love to know because um, I've been looking around at a bunch of different things. Not that the market can't just rally right on out of here, but I'm just not seeing a lot of signals on what I look at uh, to, to, to kind of rally us up on out of here. So I, I would love your feedback. Fibbo Swanee out on Twitter. Uh, DM me. Send me messages. Uh, will and help out. Let's discuss the Bitcoin market, see what's going to happen. All right, happy trading. Peace out.